Uh, first, I need to say that all illustrations in this presentation are typical, just to help understanding how the theory of kinematics of brain activities uh, describes the brain activity development. They are not really connected to any experiment regarding the subject. Furthermore, all these illustrations are owned by uh, others. Uh, there are references in related articles in my website and connected uh, uh, article blog www.followandwriting.com solution page. Uh, secondly, I use uh, some basic terms like energy, uh, strain energy, strain package, viscoelasticity of uh, the brain tissues, uh, <coughs> residual strain and strain balance. All these uh, terms are fundamental in the kinematic of brain activity subject. Brain tissues, especially over the cortex associations areas, and their strain energy current will absorb and desorb uh, a certain amount of the uh, stress uh, residuals uh, in any location, as uh, well as conduct. Uh, uh, strain uh, uh, energy between the, 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 the locations. Uh, this happens in a warm or a snake-like movement. Uh, the packages are absorbed and dissolved by the neural assemblies along the activity pathway uh, and called strain packages. They encode and recall memory units, or you can uh, refer to them as uh, information units. Uh, they, uh, in, co uh, in combination together, support all other concepts uh, in the subject. Uh, uh, for the, the easier imagination of uh, how uh, the same packages are. They are atoms, uh, they are like atoms that uh, uh, they combine uh, uh, and form uh, and combine and form molecules, especially polymeric uh, molecules and uh, substances in different scales in chemical and uh, physical domains. Uh, the difference is uh, uh, strain packages form conceptual units that are less materialistic. Uh, they are more, uh, we call them mental nature uh, with supporting texture of the uh, uh, brain activity starts to develop from activation of a neural assembly oscillation, uh, normally in the parietal lobe, but related to a sensory input or an internal conceptual input uh, the, or recall of it. Uh, remember that neural network will host the a memory unit or information unit by its uh, connectivity configuration topology. Uh, this uh, topology is rigid in inner cortex layers but flexible when uh, exposed to a strain energy stream through outer layers. The initiation forms a short-term memory current, which will get uh, uh, developed in higher strain energy flow kinetics, but dissociate in lower frequency rates. Those form and deforming in 
uh, EC of medial temporal and intense to the hippocampal formation uh, and deform and split to team and emotion aspects. Team aspect continues a circular uh, follow uh, through the uh, temporal layers uh, uh, ending to inferior uh, prefrontal, uh, prefrontal cortex and emotion bombard the prefrontal cortex in radial directions. The two radial and horizontal streams resonate in the frontal uh, uh, neural assemblies and emerge working memory. Uh, working memory is the information stream that initiate action uh, as well as will build uh, conceptual inputs over the parietal cortex. We call it uh, goal setting in psychology. It forms a structure of desires and goals and in general or personality through our life. Uh, not an increase in uh, uh, population of the uh, of the conceptual memory units over the uh, uh, uh cortex uh, Uh, it uh, may shift uh, the beliefs from one structure into another, uh, especially uh, as well as the personality, uh, especially in uh, some life milestones like adulthood uh, or middle and old ages in life. Uh, that was the story of uh, a developing uh, brain activity which happens in seconds and minutes uh, duration. However, after sensation, the forming uh, short-term memory will evoke perception process over the uh, sensory brain still uh, before uh, arising any feeling within the limbic system. These processes will develop to conceptualization or cognition process over the prefrontal cortex before the activity would terminate. Uh, of course, all these parts of an activity are about uh, uh, waking time uh, occurrences. And if the activity would not be uh, interrupted by a stronger activity. No uh, uh, completed activity terminates in one cycle of uh, a steering carrier wave rotation around the cortex. Uh, cycling a steering carrier wave uh, has got a frequency and it needs a number of the cyclings uh, to terminate uh, an activity if uh, of course not interrupted with uh, another stronger activity. Uh, it is needed to uh, mature the activity uh, a, uh, the, to a certain level of the uh, effectiveness uh, and uh, uh, a mature uh, intermediate and uh, final product uh, as was mentioned before. Uh, whenever uh, conceptualization grows to a mature state, stage and uh, would not be interrupted by another strong input, 
a conceptual product uh, will be uh, release possibility uh, to the to the command and action uh, at the same time the concept uh, product will be reflected to the sensory brain as an internal input uh, maturation uh, of activity means to achieve a strain balance state uh, that uh, such a balance state will terminate the activity of force however the achieved the strain balance is accompanied by leaving residual strains in locations uh, as you see on the left side of this this is training term and releasing uh, of that uh, residual strains in a future uh, in a future recalls uh, or uh, creating a new memory uh, in the long uh, memory structure uh, we can see that on the right side of the curve uh, strain residual is a temporary stored strain and will confined in the outer uh, cortex layers in waking where, where it uh, consolidates new connectivity configuration in uh, inner uh, in inner uh, in your cortex layers or stranger existing connectivity in relaxing period especially during the sleep up to now i gave a general picture of a brain activity now let's give a little more detail of an activity completion uh, section by section first what happens over the parietal lobe uh, note, I want to repeat this modeling is not fully proven, but is uh, to counterject with new discoveries by experiment. Some of locations for brain processes are fairly accepted, uh, like the limbic system as place for emotion or working memory and decision making over the prefrontal cortex or planning over the premotor area but many other locations for brain processes are still uh, unknown and those mentioned here are what kinematic of brain activity uh, expect or foresee note if i use the parietal cortex or temporal uh, cortex in this pre uh, presentation there are actually loops but their medial sections are referred here as cortex because most of the uh, coagulation, uh, coagulation processes happens in the medial location and boundary areas are mostly primary areas for not uh, coagulated strain packages uh, either in the short term, in the short term memory or working memory, they are more uh, individualized. Let's start from the uh, parietal cortex. Here it is demonstrated how individual neural assemblies oscillate vertically uh, when they are activated, uh, but uh, uh, by uh, that vertical uh, strain uh, energy exchanges between the cortex layers uh, uh, normally uh, the inner and uh, outer layer configuration will uh, affect each other. Uh, in this second illustration, uh, it shows how strain energy, in addition to the vertical exchanges, will expand in the horizontal uh, direction over the temporal cortex to 
to travel be, uh, between different brain uh, locations or areas. Neural assemblies uh, over the parietal cortex will encode single memory units uh, of very localized uh, uh, that will be uh, they will be coagulated in chains and layouts uh, with different complexity uh, over the uh, temporal uh, uh, cortex. Uh, recognition of the face, shape, map, and addresses. All these happens over the uh, temporal cortex as a layout of coagulated uh, uh, strain package. Uh, sensory brain uh, includes uh, parietal, uh, occipital, and temporal lobes. The sensory memory is precursor uh, to short-term memory that combine and describe the combination of the sensory memory units. Uh, from the medial uh, receiving from the medial uh, parietal cortex. Uh, indeed, sensory units are raw data to perceive them in a, a short term memory frame. Although uh, sensory memory lasts a few hundred uh, milliseconds, uh, but uh, the combination of them in a uh, short-term memory makes them to survive to seconds of, uh, and more. Uh, uh, short-term memory declines by aging because of the viscoelastic property of the sensory channels. Uh, sorry, the uh, sensory uh, memory units. Uh, Declined by aging because of the viscoelastic property of the sensory channels and primary sensory areas, uh, will lose their high effective uh, property. Uh, similarly, declines by uh, depression, uh, PTSD, Alzheimer, or other disorders probably because of a final effect of losing viscoelasticity uh, elasticity of the tissues. Uh, sensory brain uh, includes uh, parietal, uh, occipital, and temporal lobes. The sensory memory is precursor uh, to short-term memory that combine and describe the combination of the sensory memory units uh, from the medial uh, receiving from the medial uh, parietal cortex. Uh, indeed, sensory units are raw data to perceive them in a, a short term memory frame. Although uh, sensory memory lasts a few hundred uh, milliseconds. Uh, but uh, the combination of them in a uh, short-term memory makes them to survive to seconds of, uh, and more. Uh, uh, short-term memory declines by aging because of the viscoelastic property of the sensory channels. Uh, sorry, the uh, sensory uh, memory units uh, decline by aging because of the viscoelastic property of the sensory channels and primary sensory areas uh, will lose their high effective uh, property. Uh, similarly, declines by uh, depression, uh, PTSD, Alzheimer, or other disorders probably because of a final effect of losing viscoelasticity uh, elasticity of the tissues. As explained before, there are two types of inputs, sensory and uh, conceptual inputs. 
The later one is the brain internal uh, production. Uh, it is produced over the temporal and prefrontal cortex by decreasing input uh, production rate. Uh, brain activity will be limited to only sensation or sensation, perception, feeling processes. This uh, happens in relaxing pe uh, periods, especially in sleep when the prefrontal cortex shows least activity. Even uh, in uh, deep sleep, the inputs will reduce to only uh, the automatic processes like breathing and uh, heart beating. A number of the inputs in the dreaming uh, brain will increase uh, to the uh, number of the releasing strain uh, uh, residual strain uh, rates. Uh, it is uh, less in the, uh, the REM 2 stage and uh, it is higher in the REM or dreaming sleep stage. In long term scales, by growing to adulthood, the brain sensory input and processing power will upgrade to its maximum and by aging it slows down like a good and bad cycle increase in sensory input rates uh, processing will speed up and produce more uh, internal inputs uh, and uh, more internal inputs speed up more formation of the brain uh, activities uh, in a bad cycle, degradation of the sensation, perception, and cognition processes will decrease internal uh, conceptual uh, production, which uh, decline uh, all uh, brain processes, as well as uh, uh, intermediate and final conceptual products. Those uh, pro portion ratio of combined sensory and conceptual inputs uh, is very critical in brain efficiency, uh, per, uh, brain activity efficiency. It will affect short term and uh, work, uh, uh, me working memories uh, and, and together the intelligence uh, power. Uh, sensory and short-term memories have very short lifetime and uh, will current through outer cortex layers. They are selective based on input power and duration of imposing the sensory and uh, as well as uh, state of mind. For example, when watching an image and watching will be followed uh, by a flash of light just afterwards. Uh, it is experienced that the image will be erased and, uh, uh, and uh, cannot be remembered. Indeed, uh, strain effect of image uh, over receptors will be erased by the light flash. Uh, in the previous videos, it was shown that inputs in lowest range of brain tissues strain, uh, stress straining curve uh, was called the P range. Uh, uh, this kind of inputs uh, almost will be ignored and have no uh, effect or effective role in uh, initiation of a short-term memory. A lighter memory is furnished as the stream bed for all types of the current memories. 
Lung uh, term memory units cover the inner cortex layers in all association areas where sensory, short-term feeling, working, procedural, and uh, working uh, outputs follow uh, uh, through outer uh, cortex uh, layers uh, as a functional task. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, these two different type of the uh, uh, different memories, the long term and a variety of the shorter uh, memories, they uh, uh, fit each other if uh, their components uh, are related or have similarity in connectivity configuration. Uh, between sensory memories, visual is most important for human. Uh, it is about 60 to 70 percent of the utilization uh, of all uh, uh, sensory inputs. When uh, a person sees a list of items, he or she more likely will remember the first item and uh, less the last uh, items. The memory unit uh, site for names is segregated from each other. Uh, receptors will receive them as dots next to parietal adju uh, adjacent to the occipital uh, primary areas like a TV picture which is made of the uh, pixels of the light spots. Uh, <coughs> the second important sensory is the auditory the memory. In memory case, normally few names are given and after time they will ask uh, for uh, those uh, to be repeated. Auditory area is in temporal uh, cortex, uh, which the related memory units will save in elongated memory units. Uh, in other words, the hearing is an effect of distance in memory, in temporal loop. As per experience, when a person hears a list uh, of the words, for example, uh, they tend to remember the first and last words mostly, uh, which indicates the boundaries are uh, important and not the localized information as it happens for the virtual sensory. Touch memory is most localized, uh, visual uh, are semi-localized and auditory are elongated in size scale. Uh, the third important sensory memory is touch memory. When holding an uh, object in hands for 10 seconds and then uh, touching immediately something else afterwards, there is a chance of more than 90% to identify the first object that was uh, held in hand. But if one holds a firework in hand and move it in different pattern, eyes perceive a line or trail of uh, light. Uh, individual sparks uh, will not be seen, but a continuous line of them will be perceived. Uh, eyes process spikes of light as a layout in uh, uh, occipital inferior uh, locations adjacent to temporal loop, uh, seeing uh, that as a trail of the connected uh, uh, connected uh, strain packages. The strain package is a localized closed loop strain current uh, as strings in 
inside the package. Uh, they are conducting electrochemical uh, and uh, stress uh, currents on their related fields. Uh, where strain energy current between areas is an open electrical uh, flow. Uh, enlarging in chains and connecting the strain packages together. They are dynamic and knit together uh, around the cortex. This process of combination will form short-term memory as a fragment in energy, uh, uh, depending uh, how much uh, is uh, uh, its uh, streams lines are structured and connected together, uh, and. Uh, in continuation of the short-term memory, the working memory will be formed over the motor brain. Strain carrier waves are made of strain uh, packages, partly coagulated as, uh, and partly loose. And they have a higher velocity when most of the strain packages are coagulated in short-term or working memory but uh, uh, they are lose uh, in lower uh, kinematics uh, states uh, uh, in lower kinematic states information will uh, dissociate in gain in the units and find higher inertia uh, to sit in uh, cortex columns, lower or inner uh, cortex layers, uh, and uh, the form or strain gen uh, existing memory unit. Just as a demonstration, the coagulated strain packages will dissociate 14 in the hippocampus uh, you can see that in above illustration and emotion in the amygdala uh, the just uh, uh, indicated as an illustration in the uh, blow uh, figure a team uh, is a part of the short-term memory that uh, will continue uh, circulating uh, uh, current uh, of the uh, short and uh, working memories around the cortex to the, uh, the prefrontal loop uh, from the uh, entorhinal uh, cortex. Uh, Emotion part of the short-term memory will submit to the uh, prefrontal cortex through the thalamus in radial uh, uh, directions. The two circular and radial current parts will resonate in the procedural uh, memory units over the prefrontal cortex and create uh, working memory. Uh, the resulting combination of radial and circular strain waves over the prefrontal will emerge working memory with a product that can return back to the uh, parietal cortex as a conceptual input or it can go uh, th uh, through the language area uh, to express uh, to express an, a, spe a speech or a writing uh, activity, or it can go under skill memory processing to uh, continue to the pre-motor and motor outputs. Normally two or more pathways can be activated uh, 
uh, in parallel, uh, depending on the brain state of the mind, how much uh, uh, strain uh, carrier waves or uh, have uh, higher kinematic energy. Uh, this is the end of uh, uh, Dream Room 6 1. This presentation will continue in uh, Dream Room 6 uh, 2 by explaining what physical changes happen to strain carrier waves from the cortex that the strain packages as individual memory units like nouns, numbers, colors, and so on, will uh, form uh, short-term memory currents. And uh, following that, emotion arousal will happen. And uh, finally, working memory will emerge. And uh, how each of uh, these processes will happen uh, 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 will have uh, intermediate products uh, of uh, sensation, perception, feeling, understanding, decision making, planning, and goal setting. Uh, the, the goal setting as a conceptual input again over the uh, parietal uh, cortex. Uh, as well as uh, the final cortex, uh, which goes uh, uh, to the uh, motor area uh, the, by a strain uh, signal. Please uh, do not forget to send uh, your comments and questions to most.dini at gmail.com and uh, subscribe uh, uh, to the uh, channel.